Good day, YouTube. Today we're going to take a little bit of a look at Linux Lite 5.8, uh, version 5.8 there, latest release, and Debian. Uh, now, latest release as well, version 11, which is in fact uh, also on the XFCE desktop environment. And that's where we'll really get into that in a moment. Now, first of all, uh, these are essentially point releases, uh, but there are actually the options to make them roll in releases there as well. Now let's get into the actual uh, desktop environment here. So I did say it's actually uh, the XFCE version 4 desktop environment, but they've actually made it look quite different on the Linux Lite side. So you've got, uh, you've actually got a little bit of a search menu there. You can see all your app options, everything there, uh, but they've just really customized it, even the little user icon there. It's all just that a little bit different. And you've only got the one task menu there, or the task bar. Whereas on the right hand side, uh, if you're used to XFCE, you'll find that this is actually a bit more of a, maybe a stock version, uh, maybe a little bit less imaginative version of XFCE. It is what it is, you know, it's uh, pretty much bare bones. It has all the same basic apps that you can expect, graphics apps, internet apps, office apps, system apps. But hey, is what it is. If we were to say go across to the, I really like the icon layout, the, the color in here, the color in scheme, uh, those color accents here for Linux Lite. Uh, we are actually running on the, the Thuna file manager, which is really in lockstep with uh, what you would expect uh, XFCE to use. Let's go to the right hand side, the file system. The, my problem with uh, Debian is that it does tend to use older style looking icons. I'm just not a fan of it to be honest, but it's technically the same thing. Also with Thuna. And let's see, uh, actually it gives it a different name, a different version in just the way that they go about these things. But we'll leave that as it is for now. Uh, let's have a look at some of the raw specs there. I might need to open up a terminal here and f type in the following if I can do that. So here we go, we've got Linux Lite, uh, Debian 11 on the uh, Kodai Bullseye. Always good to know on the right. So what I'll say is Debian is a, a, a Linux distro that's actually well, really a lot of other distros are based on it. Whereas Linux Lite is in fact based on Ubuntu, which is in turn based on Debian. Uh, a bit of a mouthful there. But they are both long-term service releases. They will, they are supported until about 2025, 2026. But hey, you've got an internet connection, but by the time that reaches, you'll, you'll definitely update anyway. Uh, let's have a look at, say, a little bit of the, uh, the system monitor usage here as well. See what's going down. And this is where it gets interesting for me here as well. So CPU, nicely idling out there, I guess you could say. Uh, the memory, so we, Linux Lite, now Lite spelled L-I-T-E, the, the light version, right? The light of light is actually running at about 600 megabytes of RAM on boot up, which is okay. It's not fantastic to be honest, but it's not bad for any Linux distro. And then we've got Debian on the, the right here, which is uh, 550 megabytes of RAM. And that probably gets all factored into, well, the, the reason in being that they are just using a uh, just a stock XFCE, highly unimaginative as I called it there before. But hey, uh, just uh, always something to note depending on the, the hardware you'll be using things on. So thanks for watching guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. The next one!